Hello? Okay, now I'm being here. That's weird. That's annoying. Whatever. Let's get on with this. Okay, now that I think we're done talking, uh, I forget if I already mentioned this. If I have, I apologize. But the way we're going to be doing fan pain is uh, main mission and important side mission. Regular side missions, I, I'm just going to play on my own. That's uh, not it. Quite frankly, I think I want to play this game a lot now. <laughs> Let's see, I think. It's a rough diamond. Good 
As opposed to a soft one. Oh, yeah, we can't understand what he said. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that makes sense. It looks like that uh, horn stuck in your head has impacted the language center of your brain. If only we had a recruit with a Russian interpreter skill, we could get by with simultaneous interpretation. Where are your friends? Bro, Ocelot, you speak Russian. You could just... Okay. I mean, yeah, we did know. We did learn Russian. We spoke Russian in three. Last like, one, you know it too. You were with Volgan and everybody. So there's no way you don't. Those materials are already processed. They should come in handy sooner or later. Why not start gathering them? There you go. So you picked up an intel file. Now we know where Miller is. I'm marking it on your iDroid. Oh. So this dude is coming back up here. I think it's just him. I could just knock him out. It's because they slammed the door. Too far. That's a lot of you. Yeah, honestly, if, if, if the remake plays anything like this... <laughs> uh, I keep talking about the remake, it's still in free alpha. I don't even think it's going to come out with you. Hey, hold on. I'm rewatching. I'm rewatching. I need to turn down the stream. If I turn on the stream, I mean turn down my computer. Walk the whole wilderness on foot? Use your horse. No, of course not. But here's the thing. Uh, horse? Here we are. Or was that the combined total? Anytime you need advice, just give me a call. Uh oh, hold on. No, do that on the other way. Thank you. Oh, 
think I'm still using a white horse. You know a horse to boss hub? A white horse. Or also on a white horse. And you could do a whole revelation thing. Where I believe it's death riding on a pale horse. And this is, I think, you could define as a pale horse. So we are death. Okay, so I can remove that marker. It's up to you whether to slip by enemies or take them down. Just remember that any situation can change fast. Familiarize yourself with your weapons and items while you can. You need to be able to switch between them quickly to meet any threat. Oh, he just passed me. That's communications equipment used by the outpost CP. It must be how they keep in touch with headquarters. If you destroy it, you might be able to cut off the CP from their HQ. Yeah. I think it's turning night. That's really good. Where else? It's some, there's at least one person walking back, walking back there. I don't see anyone else. Yeah. Hmm. Sun's down already. You've reached one day. They've got Miller locked up in that town. Check your eye, Roy, for his location. I don't know if he's all right. He's not your average client. Guys, I have not uh, marked yet. That's a type of medicinal plant. Bring it back to base. It's sure to be useful sometime. Yeah, there's a lot of mechanics in this game that uh, you don't really get to mess with until later on. Then later on, I mean, I'm, you know, I can mission directly after this one. Technically a mission. You have my vision, right? Yes. I guess you can light, but... Miller. How's it here a Miller? No use for me, huh? 
He's from Peace Walker. Cuz it's me. And he's here. I'm here to get you out. Snake. They do something to your eyes? No, it's... It's just bright as all. Well. He's actually not bright. I don't know if it's like canonically day for this mission or night, but either way, your sunglasses are nice somehow. Um, what took you so long? We'll talk about that here. Long. I forgot about them. So these are the guys mentioned in the very beginning. The opening cut up. That played off in every mission. Boss, watch out. It's the skulls. Don't let them find us. Boss, whatever that mist is, it's all around you. We can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. Get over there. The chopper will be waiting. <laughs> Can't go up here? Okay.
cool as hell though, you know, with my skull. The material I gun just like that, man. That's so cool. Seychelles. That's where our new home is now. Hey. That was some operation we had, huh? Nine years ago. Carving out our own world. Making our own future. And they took it away. We were dogs, all right. Slinking around, out of sight for sight. Digging up whatever kind of dirty money we could find. You name it. We did it. You see this? Diamond dogs. Our new home. The phantom of our former selves. Triumph. Death.
fucking fiddle! Hey, set the swing! And that would have been in ground zeros, but it was all blonked. This was blonked. This whole bit here was blonked in ground zeros. things. This is the second one. Gosh. What should I do? Boss? Tell me. Tell me like you used to. Wherever the hell it is, you can get to pretty much anywhere in a, in a helicopter with enough fuel. Get to Afghanistan and whatnot. Can you later on do some raids on other players' bases? And you can have those bases be in different places. Things have changed, boss. We pull in money, recruits, just to combat Cypher. Rubbing our noses in bloody battlefield dirt. All for revenge. The world calls for wet work, and we answer. No greater good. No just cause. Cause. Cypher sent us to hell. But we're going even deeper. I know. I'm already a demon. Heaven's not my kind of place anyway. of war for nine whole years that ends today now you're not sleeping and we're not junkyard hounds we're diamond dogs let them talk Can 
build the army that can do it. Just one thing, Kaz. This isn't about the past. We're fighting for the future. I want Snake's voice here. This game. You can barely talk in the game, but it's not really good. I really like these little poster boards with that stuff. It's Boss, fun. there's something yeah. I want to talk about. It concerns the running of Mother Base. Come meet with me. You came. This base belongs to you now. What do you Make mean, you came? Who plays this game? Like any organization, we need good people. And we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you. Start bringing people in. Use this. It's a Fulton recovery device. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. And we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Test it out on the staff here. Anyone you want. First, put him to sleep. It's you an honor, boss. You have a gun, don't you? Out like a light. Now approach him and extract him. Good. Extraction complete. You can only bolt and recover someone if they're not resisting. No dead bodies either. They don't make great recruits. The staff member you just extracted will be assigned to the team best suited to his abilities. So Didn't you even know that already? Your iDroid. Select staff management from... So that staff member was placed on the R&D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. Please That's the R&D team's development list. See the item called Cardboard Box? Didn't seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The <laughs> last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. A we cardboard need more staff box. on the team. You Go extract it? a few more people. Hmm. Boss, put the eye You can also full to <laughs> extract individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC next? Show them how it's done. I'm ready, I'm ready. I was scared he was gonna fall off the wall. Oh. Extraction complete. One thing I should mention. Molten extraction will always be successful. If the person is injured, the shock of it could kill them. And if the weather is unfavorable, well, it could end up going missing. You can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. If you want to be sure you can get them out, no plan best carry them to the chopper instead. All right, extract the next staff member. Extract him. Use any method you like. Start by knocking him out, or you can put him to sleep. Perfect. Awesome. Where are your friends? Come on. I want to do the thing. I guess there's nothing too far. Yeah. Select weapons items under the development. Now select cardboard box and start development. Just be aware that development required. Development has finished. 
You can have the support units supply you with weapons and items you've developed. Think of it as your own personal delivery service. There it is. My scarf. And there it is. Not sure what it's good for, but Miller said you know what to do. Try it out. One last thing. The staff members you extracted were all placed on the R&D team, but that was Miller's decision. If you think they belong somewhere else, you're free to move them around. Well, that about does it. You won't make any GMP or find recruits hanging around here. Board the chopper when you're ready for a mission. Open your eye droid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Or if you're still in the mood for knocking guys on their asses, you can stay around here a while and give the men some practice. Just come pay me a visit. Boss, there's practice on my boss today. Try it one more time. What are you talking about? Boss, let's practice your CQC. Begin by grabbing. Okay, fine. I'll grab. I thought you wanted me to someone, hit someone. To do as you like. Interrogate him, Let's knock him out, boss. kill him. Scratch that last one for now. Go ahead and knock him out. Good. Extract the staff member. Now for fist fight. Strike an adversary repeatedly to knock him out. He'll stay unconscious for longer than if you throw him. Go on and extract him. I extracted the guy that would be right here. Yeah, his, his guns are all over the place. They remind me. You can finally do it, Junior. You can take a shower. You can touch your ass. You can do it all. Later, losers. What if I'm gonna shoot my life? Uh, okay. Yeah, this is another base. This is uh, the current state. Then you can guess what we do with it throughout as, as the game progresses. Yeah, this mission is a net loss because you have to extract stuff and whatnot.
Please select a mission. I've taken the job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high-value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. The future of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. Ooh, here we go. That's uh, about it there. We got a bunch of cassettes. And then music in here. There it is. We don't have that yet, that's why. We have an RD team and support unit. We'll have more. Yeah, I mean, the, as the game progresses and whatnot. We'll unlock things, we'll do stuff, etc. Let's see what we can do here. Please specify a project. Alright, sniper rifle, shotgun, revolver. This is free, so I'm just gonna go. Is this thing also free? Or am I mistaken? Camos. Camos are gonna be pretty important, actually. Thank you. Hey, PD, I usually rock a PD, personally. Forty thousand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do this so damn expensive. Can I we got a lot of money ourselves right now, but we won't have all that money forever. Um, we need a higher army team to unlock more stuff. Now, all of these weapons I just don't use because they don't have a silencer. <laughs> That's really it. But I don't think any of these guns are particularly bad. I just don't use them. I'm like, yeah, I could use the AMD 114, which I believe is supposed to be 90. I think it's supposed to be 911. Uh, this is uh, the Frank Pistol. Urkov is not a Rob Guys P3, I think. Uh, when were Glocks in the Uh, not it's supposed to be a 9 millimeter pistol. This is 44 level welfare. It's, uh, I don't think this is a bring up pistol. Maybe just shot shell. Special I think pistol. I know those exist. This, I don't know if that's real. Forgive my ignorance. Um, so these are like Uzis or Mac 10s or 11. This is like, like, an, like an MP5 ish. Um, AK and 556. It's, <coughs> it's like the Fallout 3 method. Method. With this import AK that are in 556, and later on, you can get ones in 762. This is one RPK in 556. And, yeah, 762 for you. This, I think, is supposed to be like an M4 carbine. Or the like. And there's the LMG variants, or... I'm oh, sorry, this is a... no. This is just a longer barrel? Like, oh, I was going to say DM1, but no, there's an actual, like, sensor version. UNAR, I believe, is supposed to be like an NFAL. And this... 
which is the gun that the skulls were using. I want to say this is like a uh, famos. Technically is, but like, eh, that's different. And then there's the, what is this? Short barrel version, LMG version. This is a double barrel shotgun, doesn't really say here. S100, um, uh, I don't know which shotgun that's based on. And then there's the Kibara, Kabarga. I want to say Sega shotgun, Bullhorn KSG. It's just the short version. Grenade launchers. I don't know the names of grenade launchers, uh, but I'm sure they're based off of something random. The rear is Renault. FR. Uses just a Mosin. It's literally a Mosin. And this is Remington 700. Maybe? This is the Dragon Dog. This is the. This is not the reference version of the gun we were currently using. And then this, I don't even know if they even named these or anything to our rifle. Well, I haven't used these for a long time. <laughs> um, ALM 48, uh, I forget. Um, th I think this is M60. This is maybe MP40 Bravo. This is a Soviet gun, maybe PKP, PKM, gun, RPG, Kazu style that I believe, and then this is just like a standard missile. And then shields, hand grenades, whatnot, etc. All sorts of things. Night vision goggles, stuff camo, ramp cigar, I never used these drugs. I never, I never, never needed them. I've never used them, and I'll probably never use them even here. And if I drive both device cargo upgrade, these are super useful. And we need camos, which I can't unlock because we don't know what the color green and black is. <laughs> it's never like a good package. I, mean, I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think I've ever used animals. Ever. <laughs> All these camos I don't have any, I haven't not, I'm not used. Nice. Ah, here, yes, here's a solid snake costume. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a snake a snake so you can see even though... <sighs> Was there even a snake in that game? No, we just had the regular stuff and then the, up the boss. Up the suit, and there's Eva's jumpsuit. Because you can capture, um... You know, well, not well, you can rescue, no, not capture, that's a really bad way to say it. You can rescue female prisoners and sometimes they might join you. That's it. No. No. Um, I think that's about it. I'm not gonna... Delve more into that. Let's see, how much time do we have in here? We're only 49 minutes, wow. I also need to do these three things. You were hospitalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on Cyprus. It's part of British overseas territory that falls outside of Cypriot jurisdiction. You got moved from Cuba's little America right into Cyprus's little Britain. Why Dekelia? The UK and the US remain close allies. The last place Cypher would think to look for you is inside their own system. That's what kept you safe in British Military Hospital for nine years. The safest place from a whale is inside its own belly. You were a regular Geppetto. Well, it wasn't Pinocchio who led me out to safety. So who was that guy? Cypher went so far as to attack British territory, burning their own ally. That's how badly they wanted you dead. He didn't answer. He said I was in a British military okay. hospital. But the doctor had a Greek accent. They hire locally. Easier to trust them. The Kelly is also home to Greek Cypriots, after all. What about the Turks? They haven't returned to the south. Not yet. The Cyprus dispute is still a long way from resolved. The country is just as split as it was in 74. Turkish Cypriots in the north, Greek Cypriots in the south. Between them, the Green Line, the UN established. And the Kelly sits right on top of it. 
It does. Part of the buffer zone between the two groups. Another reason it was the perfect place to hide you. Easy to spot any outsiders snooping around. So how do things stand? Now, last year, the Turks declared that the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is an independent state. Though it's only Turkey that recognizes it. In the past, the Greeks and Turks lived side by side in the same villages. There are reasons to fight. Those came from the outside. Greece, Turkey, Britain, America. They all had their own stake in pitting the two sides against each other. But once you spark something like this, it's impossible to control. Both sides build up grudges like debt. Without the foresight to see that each act of revenge just fans the flames. And then it's too late for other nations to rush in with peace talks. The embers keep on smoldering. Each nation's arrogance only breeds anarchy. The world is paralyzed by this hunger for revenge. Cyprus is no different. Alright. He was just briefing, so... Here. Weakness is water. That's what the weakness is. Zero cream. Osla. I hear they started calling you Shalashaska in Afghanistan. Oh, that's why. What's that about? <laughs> you know the term Sharashka? It's slang for a suspicious, hastily thrown together organization. The word became associated with a type of forced labor facility in the Soviet Gulag system. OKB scientists and engineers who'd been convicted of crimes were sent to a Sharashka for forced R&D. The Sharashkas were supervised by Lavrenti Berea of the NKVD, the secret police, under the official name, 4th Special Department. Forced research? That's not very different from what we do here. <laughs> Diamond Dogs is different. Everyone here believes in you. Regardless of where they came from or why they're here, they revere you. And they're fighting because it was their choice. And if it wasn't, they'd leave? Who knows? That's our reality here, whether it's real or not. If there's another truth, I don't want to know it. All that matters is that's the concept that's taken shape in their heads. The traces of a group ideology, our superstructure, to put it in Marxist terms. All right. Go on. Right. So anyway, at some point the enemy started calling me Sharashka. This was after the war in Afghanistan broke out. While I was keeping an eye on you in that hospital, I was also heading up interrogations here. The men I broke gave up their comrades and families everything they wanted to protect the most. No real cause for it. I just let myself get caught up in the old Russian pride. And suddenly I received the honor of becoming special interrogation advisor to the forced labor camps. The more men I interrogated, the more people saw me as just that. The interrogator. It helped cover my real objective of keeping you safe. You went that far for me. Far enough to keep you alive. I ended up being pretty well known among the Afghan guerrillas. Some of them would have seen me on the battlefield. And that's how I got the second half of the name. Shashka. It's a sword. A type of saber from the Caucasus. Russian dragoons and Cossacks carried them into battle. Now, the Russian Empire had a general by the name of Fyodor Arturovich Keller. His bravery earned him the nickname Russia's Greatest Shashka. Someone must have known about that, because somewhere along the line, Shashka got stuck on the end of Sharashka. The guerrillas were using the name amongst themselves. And by the time I got to hearing about it, the pronunciation had wound up as Shalashashka. So half gulag, half hero sword is a perfect fit. <laughs> but you see how rumors and ideas about people can get out of hand fast. Once you create a character and put it out there in public mind, it warps and twists with every baseless rumor. And before you know it, all people see are phantoms. In my case, it works out just fine. Miller told me about what happened in the Caribbean nine years ago. You do remember Miller. You'd formed a private army with him. An army with no allegiance to a nation. I remember, but... I see. And, uh, You're not sure this. what's fact and yeah. what's a fantasy caused by the coma. It's still all a mess, huh? All I can do is tell you the facts as they were told to me. I've gone easy on you up until now. But this is where the hard stuff begins. <sighs> 1974, the year before you entered your coma. You were in Colombia, operating with a small unit of men. Basically mercenaries. Miller was among them. 
Miller was trying to find a way to turn his and your talents into a line of work. He was looking to start a business where you would fight on behalf of others around the world, those who needed military force. But the reality was, at that time, you didn't have enough gear to equip your own men. Then Miller came across this client. It was a huge job he was offering, but you had a shot at pulling it off. You accepted it and headed into Costa Rica. The client even threw in an offshore facility in the Caribbean. The mother base. That would be your new base of operations. Miller sure did have a head for business. As your mission went on, your unit grew and grew. More weapons, more money. Before you knew it, you were commanding 300 men. As the organization got bigger, your military power swelled to match. It got so the international community couldn't afford to ignore you. You were just too damn successful for your own good. You, your men, had worn out your welcome. Everyone was out for you. East, West, First World, Third. It was only a matter of time before someone took you down. And that was XOF. Officially, they're an anti-terror unit under the CIA. In reality, mm. they're Cypher's private strike force. They lured you to Cuba using Chico, the Nicaraguan revolutionary kid, and Paz, a mole who worked for Cypher as bait. While you were gone, XOF, posing as a nuclear inspection team, stormed Mother Base. At the same time, C4 they placed on the strut legs went off. The whole thing went down in minutes. XOF. Kisses and hugs followed by a big F you. All because of Miller's blind spot. A back door into Mother Base no one suspected. You remember a certain scientist? Huey was responsible for bringing the inspection team on board. Giving the enemy a perfect opportunity to hit you at home. You were returning from Cuba when it happened. Mother Base came damn close to taking you with it into the Caribbean. Those of your men out on assignment returned right away. They refused to believe the wreckage in the water they found was Mother Base. But they checked the coordinates again and again. Until reality finally settled in. You were supposed to die that day. That was XOF's primary objective. As far as most folks know, you did. The first doctor to see you wasn't even sure what he was looking at. Before they'd even finished operating, your men moved you to that hospital in Cyprus. There was a woman named Eva who arranged that. Oh. Rings a bell, hmm? Huh? Most men in your condition would have been written off right from the start. But you survived. You went straight down to hell. And they pulled you out. Your eye wide open. Full of venom. The days of naked snake are yeah, long naked gone. Naked snake long gone, huh? Welcome back, venom snake. This world still needs you. Your snake, try this on. A prosthetic arm. Yeah, Miller was Interesting. calling the arm that wasn't there. The physiotherapy's going well. Your arm's bulked up enough for it to fit. There. Perfect. A little time with it, and it'll work better than the real thing. What do you think? Huh. I can still feel my real arm. Well, you better get used to this one quick. You have any pain? Every now and then. Where? My fingertips. My left fingertips. Uh, sounds like phantom pain. Your brain still remembers... Tarot card. Yeah. What about your vision? Can you see okay? Yeah, at the moment. Now, the shrapnel in your skull is pressing on your optic nerve. I'm told any hard impact could have an effect on your visual cortex. Yeah, the doctor mentioned that. Your brain might process visual information incorrectly. In other words, you could have hallucinations. You might see things that aren't there, and not see things as they really are. You experience any of that? I think so. When? Right after I wake up. Colors look faded. Colors, huh? Well, that's not a major concern in and of itself. But it could mean the difference between life and death in the field. You'll need to watch out for that. I will. All right. You should continue your physio. We'll be arriving soon. It's the last chance you'll get. All right, let's just go ahead and... Oops. Just say we played it all. There you go. Now then, let's on to just do a real mission. 
Let's see. Gunmen, shotguns, and blueprint. Nice. Let's play Brain Deep. Farming villages in southern Vahan have been subjected to a strategic bombing campaign the past several weeks. The damage is spreading. It's part of the Soviet scorched earth operation aimed at wiping out the guerrillas. The target this time is the commander of a Spetsnaz detachment. He's been key to the operation's success. People say this guy's responsible for annihilating the Mujahideen at Tsmasi Laman, the Hamid fighters, overnight. He's a tough, experienced commander. Don't underestimate him. The order from my client in the West is to shoot on sight. They want him out of the picture for good. Sorry, boss. This one's purely business. Wet work. A hit on a commanding officer of the Soviet military. Nothing personal. We're only doing this because it gets us one step closer to our goal. Ah, oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, I don't think it matters which one I do. We're pretty much going right here. If we go here, and go through this way, and enter. But if it goes through this way, it'll be flatter terrain, but there's like a checkpoint right here. And then we'll get to the mess. So, yeah, no, let's go here. There's a shotgun. I'm gonna bring it right now. Uh, sniper rifle, I might bring it. Uh, let's wander. Let's go ahead and bring it. This, yeah, we have the pistol. I swear it's like a 1911, but uh, I could be entirely wrong. And then we have Ocelot's revolver, which I'm actually kind of surprised we have. This reminds me of a Mateba. Yuka 6, Mateba. It honestly might be. I can't zoom in, unfortunately. Not here, at least. That's cool to know. Hand grenade, magazine, sure. Bring that up. I'm not gonna use the damn cardboard, I'm sorry. Or the Phantom Cigar, I don't need that shit. Buddy, we only have the D horse. Maybe we don't have any equipment. We have some trucks. Some our vehicles. I never use them. There's no real reason to use them. If I'll be honest, I usually just sell these for money. I either bring D-Horse, or I'm just not going to need a vehicle. And yes, this is how you can change characters once you get more combat unit. Combat unit does not exist yet, but it will. And um, yeah, then you can just play as those people. And I normally rock APD with the scarf. I just like the scarf, that's about it. And then later we can get stuff for the head. We don't have that yet. Alright, I think that's about it. Let's, let's just go now. I don't care what time it is, let's just go. I apologize if you guys hear a... What was that, leaf blower? Air blower? Hopefully that won't be too loud. I have no control when I'm doing something. Your target is a Spetsnaz detachment commander. Your orders are to take him out. With skills like his, it'd be a shame to waste him. But I'll leave the method up to you. Boss, make your way to Deshago Calais and eliminate the target. Yeah, we can uh, eliminate them all right. We got several rifles just in it. not silence though, so we gotta be careful with it. The target is camped out in that village, dressed as an ordinary yeah. soldier. Be careful down there, boss! 
Do we have a picture of him? Yeah, I have a beret. The beret. We still don't have an interpreter, so I can't interrogate anybody. Unfortunately. I guess the staff real life plan. Surprise, surprise, all that light makes seeing some things difficult. Who would have guessed? Oh, see? I wouldn't have seen him if I didn't turn off the night vision. Oh, the sandstorm is perfect. As well, who is up with my vision? Uh, who's there is too. And so more flying. So, uh, yeah. Sandstorms effectively make you blind and deaf. But that goes for the enemy too. Use the situation to your advantage. Plus. Oh, never mind. I was, I was wrong. I'm kind of wrong. I can see a bit better than me. Like this? Oh, oh yeah. I've never used that, used that before. Ever. Like, I've never gone into a quad I never did what that said. I've taken the invoices before, sure, plenty of times. Plenty of times. But never actually did it, you know. Okay. 
I care about them going in the or whatever. Most of these guys are dead or asleep. Once they goose faster. There you go. Capture a few more guys. Yeah, the only reason why I, I feel like the big reason why they need all these guys need five five six AKs. Or the fact that they need the AK five five six is because our first gun is gonna be five five six. So we'll basically never run out of ammo. Could be wrong? Yeah, sure, of course. That's my head cannon until I'm proven wrong. Could also be a diamond? Somewhere. Where is a diamond here? Is this guy over here? Bro, it's okay, the fog is coming. It's me, I'm the fog. Paris, bitch. There wasn't a gun in here. I can be wrong sometimes, you know? I'm gonna destroy these uh, big antennas. And then I'll call the shop and we'll just get out of here. Please. We have to do this with going on. Oh, first person view. Nice. Yeah, you, you, I think you can use it with multiple actions in order to rack them. It's not a mechanic I enjoy, but it's a mechanic I have to deal with, so... I don't know if I hear the point in complaining about it. It's not like they're going to update the game to change it. This game is not young. I could be, I could be completely wrong, but I think those things will stay destroyed for a little while. I probably could have extracted his recon crew as well. Oh, their bodies despawned. Okay. Could've, probably could have extracted the recon guy, but I didn't kill him. Probably. But. 
really isn't that big of a deal, I'll be honest. But I think it's, it's gonna be, it might be loud soon. And I was really not streaming that loud. Because that's crazy. I'm stationed at LC! I, I, I didn't want to really cut it here, but that's just gonna have a little bit of a moment. Let's hope I can get these different results and hope we can get this. Really, the sound is supposed to be. Hey, we figured out how other cameras are. Yes, right, that's mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. Yeah, the game doesn't necessarily want you to kill, but you can. Especially with how you get more points if you don't kill anybody. But, eh. Cut that tape. Uh, oh yeah, you can do stuff for your buddies. Getting used to being in the field again. Having choppers and a horse at your disposal is indispensable for operating in the wilds of Afghanistan. I've gone ahead and arranged for you to be able to develop and customize weaponry for support choppers. And you can also develop new equipment for D-Horse if you like. Use your iDroid to start development as needed. Yep, there you go. Oh, and we can customize it too. Remember the guys you brought back from the base in Cuba nine years ago? Believe it or not, some of them survived that hell we went through. Word reached them that Big Boss is back and they want it in. They're good men. Our brothers in fate. They'll be glad to know you've seen them. Yes, Hideo Kojima himself, he's in the game. And he's a diplomat, as Frank. He... Ironically, so he speaks English, and that's... I'm pretty sure he only speaks Japanese, like... And I'm wrong. Uh, here's the first Wayman. Support unit, Gold Fox, Loud Harrier. All these things are random. Alright, I'm just gonna skip. I'm just gonna skip it now. I almost missed. I almost read Grizzly Hedgehog as Glizzy Hedgehog, and I was gonna be so confused. Side ops list. By connecting your iDroid to the onboard computer, ACC. Some elements of staff assignment and R&D of weapons and items can only be performed from there. Take as long as you need to consider all your options. Alright, anyway, so these missions is which I'll be streaming. And these missions is what I'll also be streaming. Everything here, or just free room, I'm not really in a dream. I guess I don't plan on it. So, yes. Grim, are you doing more? What happened? Oops. We'll get more missions soon. We'll get more stuff going along the way. Story starts off slow, things don't feel really related, and to, to be fair, they're kind of not. We're, we're, we just do jobs for the first couple missions. And then. It's not until a little bit later that we get actual real missions. Like for story and plot and etc. etc. 
So with that being said, I unfortunately I'm about to cut this off a little bit earlier than I wanted to. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys next time, whenever that may be.